I'm just getting started here and today I am going to be I guess wow we got fluke today that's a nice fish Whoa. but uh just getting started Get my hook out. Seeing what's about. I got the fly rod with me today, so I want to see what's about on the cast and tackle, and then maybe do some fly fishing. I don't know, but just getting started. So let's see what's going on first. The wind seems fair, so maybe we'll get a few. So I broke that first cast curse hooked up here. Feels like it could be a fluke, I don't know. And what is that? I think it is. Wow, it is a fluke. Is it? Oh, it's a sundial. What's he doing here? Nice size sundial, that's for sure. So right now I am aiming a little further out and seeing what's out and through. Um, I'm going to work out and through a little bit. And then I'm going to work close and tight. And uh, now I'm working the, the first half of the water. And then maybe if I don't get good results, I'm going to work closer in. But we'll see. The water looks good. A little bit stained, but it's light debris, but it looks good. Wow, that's a nice one. That's a nice fish. Um, let me get him in. Wow, that's a big sea robin. Holy heck. We got them crossways. They're going after that teaser. Get him back. It's so big. So before I start fishing more towards the lip of the beach, I'm going to see maybe this is something out there substantially better. So I'm going to work through with a black tee. And uh, sometimes that's what they want. So I'm going to try that a little. And then I'm going to start fishing a little closer. That was my first cast with the black. He is. I'm sure he's not a ass. Hmm. Get him in now. Let's take a look at him. I'm feeling probably. Oh, oh wait, is that blue? Good deal. They're looking at that Caesar, that's for sure. What is that? Kingfish? Yeah, that's a kingfish. We have fluke, sea robin, sundial, and kingfish. 
I'm just working, like I said, outside and inside, lighter things for a lip, and I'm going with this thing silver. I've seen some birds out there. Uh, I want to see maybe go into something, intercept something outside on the sandbar. If not, then I'll go back in short. It's a little stained, but I got a gold jig on, black teaser. So they should be able to see something. It looks like those birds are kind of forming a little bit. And before there were no birds out, there's a couple around now. This could be a fluke. Not sure. If he's kind of gliding in. We've been like stealing all those fish today. The hooks are just sharp. Hanging tight now, whatever he is. And so this thing's silver. I think he is a nice move. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh wow! Wow! That's a keeper. And we stole him. He's going back though. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Definitely a keeper. Well, would be. You have to kind of let them go. They're just looking at that teaser. And doing their thing. That's a, what would I would call it. Friend Paul would call it. Stole, we stole him. Oh yeah, he's a keeper. In the 18, 19, 20. Close to 20, probably 19. Let's get him on his way. Sometimes what I'll do if I pick up a fish, I'll double back. Almost like if you were on a boat trolling and you hit a good drift. So if I was walking this way, I'll walk back a little bit, pass, and fish through the same area. See if I can pick out another. I don't know. They've been kind of sparse and scattered today, so I don't think it matters. But now We certainly are on a few more fluke today. I'm not sure what this guy yet is. We've really been stealing him. They've been looking at that teaser and it might be a fluke. He's kind of gliding in now. Uh, they've been looking at that teaser and we've been grabbing him <laughs> on the stained silver. We've just been, as you would say, illegally you have to let these guys go. It's, I mean, I let him go anyway, but we had that one keeper, keeper fluke, and uh, you get him like that, you got to let him go. Um, I guess it's considered, you know, you foul hook them, but what's happening is they're looking at that teaser, and that, before they can get it, we're hitting them with the sting silver. I might try something lighter, maybe it'll ride higher, but we'll see. Those beach fluke are interesting. You'll tend to get them in waves. Um, so if you miss one, you've got a good chance at another. I miss two and then I hit one and sometimes you just get them one after the other. But if you have a, a good zone in there, uh, when you have one, get right back out there. There's a good chance you'll pick out another. You have a little window. And you got to fish through that, these empty spots. Uh, but really, okay fishing so far. Well, pretty good. They're, uh, they're about. A little lighter, so I'm going to work a little closer. And just want to see what's going on closer to the beach. So I'm going to use something lighter, get it down. And I can hang that out a bit longer than the stinger. With the sting silver, the epoxy jig, I can get it out further and I can work 
a little bit on the outside better. This I can work on the inside better. So it's a good one-two punch. I still got the black teaser. I might go back to yellow. We'll see. They seem to have interest in the black because we've been stealing them, stealing those fish with the jig. All right, on the lighter end, we picked something up. I had something. It's still on here. Swimming in quick. Not sure what he is. Let's get him in. Got the cast master now. Oh, it's a little fluke, and that's we're using the right teaser. And that lighter jig. Give him a better shot. Give those fluke a better chance of finding our teaser. I gotta sharpen that hook a little. But this is riding it, I think, a little better, closer in. But uh before I was working a little further out, now I'm working like mid-trowel to the to the lip. That's my zone. Actually, those two lures, some teasers, you can hit a lot of water with them. So, do all kinds of, hit a lot of water with a couple of lures. So, I have different weights here that I've been working with. Um, but uh, the sting silvers I like to work on the outside. You know, I got cast masses, crocodiles, and pinfish for the inside. I um, seem to be doing better on the outside. I was working the cast master. Maybe the fish just uh, relax right now. I'm going to go back to my sting silver, my epoxy jig, and see if we can pick fluke out. As per the teasers, um, I bring like lighter and then darker colors. Sometimes, you know, a cloudy day like this, sometimes you do better with the dark. So they seem to like that. I did have fish on the lighter yellow whites. Sometimes it don't matter. Other days it makes a huge difference. So I'm going to work the outside a bit. Not much bait around. Now, I'm pretty sure that they're just eating those sand fleas. I'm going to drop these in my pocket. Might go back to the lights later. All right. Oh, did he get off? I can't tell. Grab the jig. All right. So we went back to the string silver, and hopefully we'll get some more. It's on and off when you're fluke fishing. It's it's an all day all day deal. But I always expect the fish to be on and off. The fish are going to be in and out. It's going to be changing. So I'm going to go close in. I'm going to go light, heavy, dark colors, light colors. And just try to keep up with it. Really can't. So really you can just ride, stick with one thing, and just catch what's ever there, man. Certainly doing better with the heavier jig. So I'm going to stick to it. And I'm pretty sure this is another little guy, a little, little fluke. But uh, interesting is definitely there's, haven't had any bass, haven't had any blues, but a lot of fluke, um, on, a lot of fluke on the beach. He grabbed that teaser. He looks a little bigger than the other one. So definitely got to be some bigger fish out there. Oh, it's a nice size fish. Get him on his way. So I'm using the same reel from the last video. Um, and uh, I actually I put on uh, some reel grips. They lend nicely. I like them. Uh, so they make the reel a little, crank it a little more robust. Um, but this is a Shimano. Uh, it's a Black Magnum. Uh, Bantam uh, got magnets, spool adjuster. Actually has a flipping switch, forward and reverse. Got all the bells and whistles. Great drag on it. Um, pretty good line capacity too on it. Um, 
hold a lot of line, maybe more than my ambassador, more than an ambassador 5500. But this is what I'm using today, and you guys asked some questions about it the last video, so I dropped these real grips on. This guy grab right in the wash. I don't know what he is yet. Is he a bass? Oh. Wow, we got striper today too. Wow. All right. We got striped bass. A lot of fluke. A bit of fluke. Wow, look at him go. A bit of fluke. Um, striped bass. Uh, sea robin. Kingfish. Sundial. Haven't seen any blues yet. Maybe I'll try a top water in there. Maybe we'll get a few bass now. That's wild. He grabbed the teaser. Cool stuff. So I'm just jigging teaser fishing today uh, for fluke. Uh, picked up that bass. Um, I might try something. Uh, see if maybe there's a few more. I might swing a swimmer through there. But a summer flounder, fluke, uh, fish in the beach. Got stripers up in it too. No bluefish, that's interesting. Uh, usually you find a bait, you'll find the blues. Uh, silver silver sided baits so if you don't see them they don't generally those guys are generally moving doesn't mean they won't come through but I haven't seen any today and, uh, but uh, can't complain pretty good day so far hold on oh wow We've got a few basses coming I think I'm pretty sure that's a bass either they're right on the thing maybe I'll grab the fly rod Wow, he's dead grabbing that black, black teaser. I should take that teaser off. And... Little guy, though. Fighting that wash. I should take that teaser off and then drop it on the fly rod. See what the water does here. Oh. Watch that jig. So I don't tangle. Nope. But definitely, maybe I'll see if I can swing a fly through. Maybe there'll be a few more. The water's a little choppy turny, but I want to try a floating uh, Daewoo SP minnow for uh, gold. I'm going to run this through a little bit and see if I'm going to hit out and then cross all different ways, but they seem to be right up here. They're a little choppy turny right now, I think, for to get that fly out, but if they're, if they're in there, I think I might give it a shot. If not, I'm just going to enjoy the fishing. Wow, they just smashed that, they're just whacking it right in the surf here, I don't know if he, oh he took the, the minnow I put on, wow, get him up, maybe this way, maybe the next, see a little, wow, there's a little bigger, Working the minnow now. A little bit bigger. is a bit stained. The flukes seem to slow off. So I'm working a yellow mag daughter with the black teaser. Maybe they'll see that through this, this uh, stained water really well from afar. 
and come in and smash it. But they bass, they have excellent eyesight. So we're gonna fish this till it gets dark. It's really, pretty good day. Not a bad day at all. Nice flu. Quite a few flu. The bass showed up, and uh, no bluefish. Uh, kingfish, sea robin, sundial. So really full day. I'm going to work through with the yellow mag daughter and it seems to be working well. Stained water going with the black teaser, black red, bucktail 360. Little guy, he slowed up quite a bit. All right, I'm gonna finish out with a top water, and they'll go after that teaser too, if they're there. But uh, pretty good day. Uh, we had a started with some fluke. Uh, definitely had one keeper in there. A few other decent fish, a lot of small fluke, summer flounder, um, sundial, sea robin, kingfish. Uh, then the, the bass came in, and then when the water stained up, it got a little tough. So. Uh, It'll be getting dark i'm gonna be heading out but a really really nice day fishing and uh just want to say thanks for watching please like dislike comment subscribe to the channel or not and uh remember always fish away and have a great afternoon night day evening wherever you are